Can we fathom the grandeur of the Titanic, the ship of dreams that met an unthinkable end? The Titanic was no ordinary ship. It was an embodiment of human ambition, a testament to the marvels of engineering and a symbol of opulence. The vision behind the Titanic was not just about creating a ship, it was about manifesting a dream. A dream that was born in the minds of the most visionary engineers of the time. A dream to create not just the largest ship, but the most luxurious that the world had ever seen. The Titanic was designed to be a floating city, a world in itself, where every detail was crafted with an eye for grandeur. It was a dream that was not just to break records, but to redefine luxury and grandeur. The Titanic was a dream that was larger than life, a dream that was as vast as the ocean itself. Rising from the Harland and Wolf shipyard in Belfast, the Titanic was a marvel of engineering. This colossal vessel, constructed to weigh over 46,000 tons, was a testament to the boundless ambition of the early 20th century. Every rivet, beam, and plate was assembled with meticulous precision, reflecting the relentless pursuit of perfection. The Titanic was not just about size, it was an epitome of luxury and grandeur. From its opulent deck to its intricate design, every detail exuded elegance. It boasted lavish interiors that rivaled the finest hotels of the era, with plush accommodations, exquisite dining rooms, and even a grand staircase that was nothing short of a royal spectacle. As the final touches were added, the Titanic stood proudly, a symbol of human achievement and technological prowess. It was more than just a ship, it was a floating palace, ready to conquer the waves. The Titanic, a testament to human ingenuity, was ready to sail. The maiden voyage from Southampton, a journey filled with excitement and anticipation. As the behemoth of the sea embarked on her first adventure in April of 1912, the air buzzed with the thrill of the unknown. The Titanic, a marvel of engineering and luxury, was set to traverse the Atlantic, making stops at Cherbourg and Queenstown before setting her sights on the city that never sleeps, New York. Passengers on board were abuzz with expectations. The wealthy elite reveled in the opulence of first class, while families and individuals of every social stratum looked forward to starting anew in America. The Titanic wasn't just a ship, she was a symbol of aspiration, a beacon of hope and human achievement. But as she cut through the waters, beneath the excitement and anticipation, no one could predict the fate that awaited. The Titanic was on course, sailing towards destiny. On board the Titanic, a microcosm of society unfolded. Aboard this magnificent vessel, the stark differences between the social classes were as clear as day. First-class passengers enjoyed the pinnacle of luxury, indulging in the opulence of private suites, gourmet meals, and grand ballrooms. Second-class, though not as luxurious, provided comfort and convenience that surpassed the standards of transatlantic travel at the time. The third class, however, presented a stark contrast. These were the working class folks, immigrants hoping to start anew in America. Their accommodations were simple, even austere, yet they carried with them dreams and hopes just as precious as those in the upper decks. The Titanic, in essence, was a floating reflection of society, complete with its disparities and inequalities. Yet, as the ship sailed on, one truth remained constant. Regardless of the class they belonged to, all passengers were sailing on the same ship, oblivious to the fate that awaited. On the fateful night of April 14, 1912, the Titanic met her nemesis. The air was filled with the promise of a new day, a night as clear as crystal, when suddenly the tranquility was shattered. The Titanic, the marvel of her time, struck an iceberg. The collision was more than just a graze, it tore into the ship's starboard side, compromising her integrity. In the ship's belly, water began to seep in. The Titanic, a symbol of human ingenuity and ambition, was wounded. The crew and passengers could scarcely believe it. The unsinkable was bleeding out, her lifeblood, buoyancy, gradually seeping away. As the minutes ticked by, the reality began to sink in, just like the icy water into the ship's hull. The invincible Titanic, the magnificent vessel, was in mortal peril. The unthinkable was happening. The enormity of the disaster was slowly dawning on everyone. The unsinkable was sinking and time was running out. In the face of disaster, decisions were made, some of which sealed the Titanic's fate. As the behemoth vessel continued its course, the command to maintain speed despite the iceberg warnings was one of the first missteps. The second, a stark oversight, was the lack of binoculars for the lookouts. Had they been equipped with these essential tools, 
the iceberg may have been spotted in time to alter the ship's course. Then, the response to the iceberg warning signals was delayed, a delay that cost precious time. In the world of maritime, time lost can mean lives lost. The decisions made during these crucial moments were born out of a false sense of security and an underestimation of the power of nature. These decisions, born of human error and oversight, proved catastrophic. The unsinkable Titanic was not impervious to the consequences of poor decisions and mistakes. A harsh reminder of the fallibility of human judgment when faced with the formidable forces of nature. As the reality of the situation set in, chaos ensued. The Titanic, once a symbol of human ingenuity and luxury, was rapidly transforming into a scene of frantic desperation. Passengers and crew alike were grappling with the harsh truth. The unsinkable was indeed sinking, and there weren't enough lifeboats for everyone. The evacuation process was a whirlwind of confusion and panic. The ship's orchestra played, attempting to soothe the rising tide of terror. But the chilling echo of the ship's distress signals cut through the night air, punctuating the grim reality that time was running out. The lifeboats, designed to carry 65 people, were launched half full in the initial stages, a tragic consequence of the disbelief that the Titanic could actually sink. As comprehension dawned, the struggle to access the remaining lifeboats intensified, with desperate pleas and frantic scuffles. In the midst of chaos, there were those who rose above. The stories of these individuals form the next chapter of our tale. Amid the turmoil, heroes emerged, their stories etched forever in history, the icy grip of fate didn't deter individuals like Margaret Brown, better known as the unsinkable Molly Brown. Her unwavering courage shone through as she helped others onto lifeboats, refusing to board one herself until there was no one else in sight. The ship's musicians, too, embodied a spirit of self-sacrifice. They played on, their melodies echoing through the chaos, providing a semblance of calm to the panic-stricken passengers. Let's not forget the brave crew members. Many of them stayed behind, ensuring that as many passengers as possible could escape, even if it meant compromising their own safety. They worked tirelessly, against the clock and the rising waters, their actions epitomizing nobility in the face of terror. These acts of heroism serve as a testament to the indomitable human spirit, a reminder that even in the face of unimaginable adversity, there are those who rise, their courage a beacon of light in the darkest of hours. In the aftermath, survivors were left with scars of a tragedy that shook the world. Rescue efforts were launched as desperate cries for help echoed across the icy Atlantic. The ship Carpathia, responding to Titanic's distress signals, arrived two hours after the sinking. They found an eerie scene, lifeboats scattered across the water, carrying the few who had escaped the ocean's icy grasp. Each survivor bore a tale of their own, stories of loss, courage, and survival in the face of unimaginable terror. Yet, for every tale of survival, there was a heartbreaking story of those who did not make it. Over 1,500 lives were lost that night, swallowed by the frigid abyss. The world mourned for the unsinkable that had succumbed to the sea. As dawn broke, the magnitude of the catastrophe was clear. The Titanic was no more, but her story was far from over. From the tragic end of the Titanic, lessons were learned, changes were made. The sinking of this maritime titan led to a thorough investigation revealing the series of missteps that led to the disaster. The high speed despite iceberg warnings, the lack of binoculars for lookouts, and the insufficient lifeboats. These revelations sparked an urgent shift in maritime regulations. From the ashes of tragedy, the first International Convention for Safety of Life at Sea was born in 1913. Among its mandates were sufficient lifeboats for all passengers, 24-hour radio communication, and proper iceberg navigation routes. The Titanic disaster did not just change maritime law, it transformed our understanding of safety at sea. It taught us that no ship is unsinkable, that every voyage carries risks, and that preparation is paramount. The Titanic disaster, a catalyst for change in maritime safety. The Titanic, a tale of human ambition and tragedy, lives on in popular culture. This colossal ocean liner, once a symbol of human ingenuity and luxury, is now an emblem of hubris and disaster. Its story has been etched into our collective memory, a chilling reminder of the imperfections of even our greatest creations. From the silver screen to museum exhibitions, the Titanic's tale continues to captivate us. Films like James Cameron's epic romantic disaster movie, Titanic, have immortalized the ship and its fateful voyage, 
reaching audiences worldwide and across generations. Its legacy is not just confined to our screens. Exhibitions and museums dedicated to the Titanic offer immersive experiences, allowing us to step back in time and feel the grandeur, the excitement, and the terror of that fateful journey. The Titanic story is a part of our shared cultural heritage, a tale that continues to fascinate, educate, and warn us. The Titanic, an unforgettable chapter of maritime history. The sinking of the Titanic, a stark reminder of our human vulnerability. This tragic event etched in the annals of history underscores the profound impact of decisions made in the heat of the moment. The Titanic's demise was not simply a case of an iceberg's might against steel and iron. It was a series of choices, some made with haste, some with disregard, that cascaded into catastrophe. The ship's speed, the disregard for iceberg warnings, the limited lifeboats, each decision, each action, rippled through that cold April night, shaping the fate of those on board. This disaster reminds us that at the heart of every critical moment lies the power of choice. The Titanic, once a symbol of human ingenuity and ambition, has become a lesson in humility. It stands as a testament to the power of nature and the fragility of human life, reminding us that our choices, particularly in times of crisis, can hold life-altering consequences.